Okay, so number one, Mama M has called me out. And because of that, I am in the pit called the children's room. Um, I play a little piano, but it's been a while. I play a little violin, and it's been even a longer while. So, um, being a good sport after being called out. Whoa, hello, put that down. Uh, whew, kids' rooms, they're scary. Uh, I'm sitting here on the floor with the kids' keyboard, and we'll try to play something without them popping in and playing a little chopsticks or something. So, uh, this is just going to be the best you get. I'm very rusty. Okay, so we made it out of the kids' room. That was close. I almost thought one of those Fisher Price little people were going to attack me and tie me up and do a little Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> go to Lilliput. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and finish the rest of the questions so you can take the cotton out of your ears now from them bleeding from earlier. So, anyways, what is your pet peeve while driving? Um, people who don't use their blinker, that really bothers me because there's this specific stick beside your wheel. And the purpose of that stick is to let people know if you're going left or right. It's not because I want to follow you and I really care where you're going. It's just, these are things I need to know. You know, you're operating this huge, huge piece of equipment on the road that could squish somebody and stuff. And just have a little basic common respect and use that little stick. Click the stick, man. Just let me know, left or right. And if you can't do that, if you don't have the little stick in your car, um, if you ever went to driver's ed, you've learned that, you know, you can put your hand out the window and let me know. I, I know those too. I can do hand signals or, um, I can do a few of my own. So let's, let's let me know left or right, buds. Okay. All right. So would you rather have a housekeeper or unlimited spa service? That's tough. Um, I'm going to go with unlimited spa service. And the reason is because, um, when you've been to the spa, you just feel so relaxed. You're like in your own little utopia. Nothing bothers you. You're loose. You're calm. So when you get home and there's crunched up goldfish all over the floor and 15 sippy cups laying everywhere, looks like there's been some kind of party going on in your house, you just don't care because you're in the zone and it's all good. So let's go with the unlimited spa service. I'd just rather not care rather than deal with a housekeeper where I have to clean house before they clean house because I don't want them to think my house is dirty, which is kind of the whole purpose of hiring them in the first place, but it just gets into this vicious circle. All right. Is there a song that you hear that will take you back to the moment or high school dance? Gosh, there's a lot of songs that just take me back. Um, for some reason, whenever I hear Debbie Gibson, though, I kind of want to stand in front of my dresser mirror and pick up a bottle of hairspray and start singing to it and swaying and start thinking about all those really cool high school moments and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's just go with Debbie Gibson. I, I know. Only in my dreams. So, all right, what song best represents your life right now? There are so many good songs and so many could represent different moments of my life, you know, like they're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. They're coming to take me away, hee hee, to the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. That one fits pretty good, but right now I'm going to have to go with the Green Acres theme song. I don't know if that can be classified really as a song because it's not really played on the radio, but you know, let's go with the farm life and goodbye city life and let's just go with that one, all right? So that song best represents me. Thank you for watching, and I hope you're going to play along. I know I have a bunch of friends who are supposed to vlog today. So um, we'll see what they're doing. So um, hit the link at the bottom of the vlog, and uh, 
let's just let's all play together all right bye have a good week